Dion Sanders. Hey everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the life of one of the most electrifying athletes of all time, Dion Sanders. This man not only dominated on the football field but also shined in Major League Baseball, making him one of the rare athletes to excel in two major sports. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion, an eight-time Pro Bowler, and even has a World Series appearance to his name. From prime time on the field to coach prime on the sidelines, Dion has redefined excellence. Now, let's explore the incredible journey that took him to the top. If you're a fan of greatness, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for more inspiring stories like this one. Let's get started. Dion Lewin Sanders Sr. was born on August 9, 1967, in Fort Myers, Florida. Raised by his mother, Connie Knight, and his stepfather, Willie Knight, Dion grew up in a working-class family. His biological father, Mim Sanders, was less involved in his life after his parents divorced. Despite this, Dion's athletic abilities were evident early on, and he was driven to make something great of himself from a young age. Dion has a younger sister named Tracy Knight, and the two share a close bond. Growing up in a tight-knit family helped foster Dion's sense of loyalty and resilience, which carried him through his athletic career. Dion attended North Fort Myers High School, where he became a multi-sport star, excelling in football, baseball, and track. His incredible speed and athleticism earned him statewide recognition, particularly as a football player, where he played quarterback, defensive back, and punt returner. In 1985, Sanders was named to the Florida High School Association All-Century Team, which selected the top 33 players in the 100-year history of high school football in the state. The Kansas City Royals selected Sanders out of North Fort Myers High School in the sixth round of the 1985 Major League Baseball draft. However, he did not sign with the Royals. After high school, Dion enrolled at Florida State University, where he continued to showcase his talents in both football and baseball. As a defensive back, he earned consensus All-American honors in 1987 and 1988. His brash confidence, speed, and big play ability made him one of the most feared defensive players in college football. He also played baseball and track at Florida State, further proving his versatility as an athlete. Under head coach Bobby Bowden, Sanders was a third-team All-American in 1986, and a two-time consensus All-American cornerback in 1987 and 1988, intercepting 14 passes in his career, including three in bowl games, and managed to return one interception 100 yards for a touchdown, breaking Fred Bailetnikoff's interception return record by one yard. He won the Jim Thorpe Award in 1988. While playing baseball under head coach Mike Martin at Florida State, Sanders' batting average was .331 in 1986. He also compiled 27 stolen bases in 1987. Professional Baseball Career Drafts and Minor Leagues Dion was drafted by the New York Yankees in the 30th round of the 1988 MLB Draft. While he was busy establishing his football career, he still managed to find time for baseball, starting in the minor leagues. New York Yankees 1989-1990 Dion made his MLB debut with the Yankees in 1989, displaying flashes of brilliance with his exceptional speed and defensive abilities. Though his time with the Yankees was short, he proved that he could compete at the highest level in baseball. Atlanta Braves, 1991-1994 His baseball career truly took off when he joined the Atlanta Braves. Dion played for the Braves during their early 90s dominance, even appearing in the 1992 World Series. Known for his base-stealing prowess and outfield defense, Sanders became a key contributor to the team's success. Cincinnati Reds, 1994 to 1995, 1997, 2001. Dion also spent time with the Cincinnati Reds, where he continued to flash his skills on the base paths. Though his baseball career never reached the same heights as his football career, he still carved out a respectable MLB career over parts of nine seasons. San Francisco Giants, 1995. Dion's brief stint with the Giants was another chapter in his dual sport legacy, though it was clear by this time that football was his true calling. Professional football career. Draft and Atlanta Falcons, 1989 to 1993. 
Dion was selected by the Atlanta Falcons with the fifth overall pick in the 1989 NFL Draft. From the moment he stepped on the field, Prime Time lived up to his nickname. Known for his lockdown coverage, punt returns, and larger-than-life persona, he became one of the most feared cornerbacks in the NFL. San Francisco 49ers, 1994. Dion joined the 49ers in 1994 and had one of his best seasons, helping the team win Super Bowl XXIX. He also won NFL Defensive Player of the Year that season, solidifying his place among the game's greats. Dallas Cowboys, 1995-2000. Dion's time with the Cowboys was legendary, as he helped the team capture another Super Bowl in 1996. His combination of speed, intelligence, and athleticism made him a key figure in the Cowboys' defense. Washington Redskins, 2001. After a brief retirement, Dion returned to play with the Washington Redskins in 2001, though his time there was short-lived. Baltimore Ravens, 2004-2005. In one final comeback, Dion played for the Baltimore Ravens, serving as a veteran leader and contributing to the team's secondary. He retired for good after the 2005 season. Coaching career. High school coaching, 2012 to 2017. After retiring, Dion focused on mentoring young athletes and coaching at the high school level. From 2012 to 2017, he served as the offensive coordinator at Trinity Christian School in Texas, helping guide the next generation of football talent. College coaching. Jackson State. 2020 to 2022. In 2020, Dion made the jump to college football, taking over as head coach at Jackson State University. Under his leadership, Jackson State saw tremendous success, including multiple Southwestern Athletic Conference SWAC, titles. He brought national attention to the program and HBCUs in general. Colorado, 2022 present. In late 2022, Dion took over as head coach at the University of Colorado, immediately energizing the program. His arrival at Colorado was one of the most talked about stories in college football, with Coach Prime determined to turn the team into a powerhouse. Awards and Honors Dion Sanders' list of awards is as lengthy as it is impressive. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion, an eight-time Pro Bowler, an NFL Defensive Player of the Year, and a Pro Football Hall of Famer inducted in 2011. In baseball, he reached the World Series in 1992. Dion is the only athlete to play in both a Super Bowl and a World Series, solidifying his legacy as one of the most unique talents in sports history. Media appearances and pop culture fame. Dion's charisma and personality made him a media darling. From appearances in commercials and movies to working as an NFL analyst for CBS, NFL Network, and ESPN, Dion has been a staple in sports media for decades. His prime time persona became a cultural phenomenon, influencing not just sports but also fashion and music. Other business and entertainment ventures. Dion has successfully ventured into multiple businesses, including his prime prep academy and other entrepreneurial pursuits. He also wrote an autobiography, Power, Money and Sex, How Success Almost Ruined My Life where he discusses the highs and lows of his career and personal life. Personal life. Dion has been married twice. His first marriage was to Carolyn Chambers 1989 to 1998, with whom he shares two children, Dion Jr. and Deandra. His second marriage was to Pilar Sanders 1999 to 2015, with whom he has three children, Shiloh, Shadur, and Shalomi. He is a devout Christian, frequently speaking about his faith and its role in his life. Sanders, along with J.M. Black, published his autobiography, Power, Money and Sex, How Success Almost Ruined My Life, Word Publishing, 1998. The book was inspired after he began counseling with Bishop T. D. Jakes. He names his agent, Eugene Parker, as another person who has influenced his life. Lifestyle, net worth, houses, and cars. Dion's estimated net worth is around $40 million, thanks to his career in both the NFL and MLB, as well as his media and business ventures. Dion Sanders' sprawling Texas mansion in Prosper spans 29,000 square feet on 109 acres, featuring nine bedrooms, 
10 full bathrooms, an indoor basketball court, bowling alley, movie theater, and a football field. Outdoors, there's a stocked lake, large pool, and an eight-car garage. His Colorado mansion, located near Boulder, offers stunning mountain views, blending luxury and nature. The expansive estate includes multiple bedrooms, modern amenities, and outdoor spaces perfect for relaxation or entertaining. Both homes reflect Sander's high-end lifestyle, combining grandeur with unique amenities suited to his athletic background and love for entertainment and luxury. Dion Sanders has owned a luxury car collection including a Lamborghini Aventador, Rolls-Royce Phantom, Hummer H2, Cadillac Escalade, and Ferrari 812 Superfast, reflecting his flashy, high-performance style and love for speed. Legacy Dion Sanders' legacy goes beyond his accolades. He revolutionized the cornerback position, brought swagger and confidence to sports, and remains one of the most iconic athletes of his generation. Now, as a successful coach and mentor, he's shaping the future of the game, ensuring that prime time will continue to influence football for years to come. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about prime time, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more fascinating biographies. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.